Hello, my name is Tommy Collins. I'm a violin player. I've been playing for eight years. The point of being an amateur that most people say is nine to ten years with at least an hour a day of practice and a private teacher every week like I have. My violin's a special size because it's made in the 1870s in Germany and it's a Stradivarius copy, meaning it's a copy of the violin maker's violins of uh, Antonio Stradivarius. The way the violin makes sound is it being tightened and also it vibrating. And people don't notice how note changes when you place your fingers down. What it does is it changes where it's tightened, keeps its tightness, but it changes where it's tightened. And it changes where the sound waves start and end. And like all musical instruments, the temperature of a room is a problem. 74 degree room, the violin, it's going to sound normal if it's in tune. Once you move to an 80 degree room, it's going to sound way, way flat. Because what happens is that when the wood pegs start to expand, and also another factor for the sound instead of the tuning is that the rings of the wood the rings of the tree that the wood is making the violin. It's, it's so that it's compact and it makes a natural rich sound like the ones used by Antonio Stradivarius. And it gives it a rich sound instead of a plasticky sound like nowadays. Now here's an example for why it sounds different. sounds better and it sounds amazing when it's natural wood that has tight rings. It's good to have that sound because when you're in an orchestra, and it's also why I enjoy playing in an orchestra, is because when all instruments have a nice sound and they sound nice together, that's the best thing to have when you're in an orchestra, is then the sounds are cooperating with each other. And that's probably the most favorite reason why I play in an orchestra. My favorite musical memory isn't actually in orchestra, however. It was when I was playing the entertainer, and I was doing sit-ups at the same time. And around my 31st sit-up, I gave up, and um, I was still upside down, so I still continued playing the entertainer. And that's basically my funniest and favorite musical memory.